When it comes to the hybrid technology of Toyota and BYD, after a detailed comparison, I found that the difference between the two is obvious. In today's video, I will talk about the gap between them in terms of the driving experience of the two cars, the hybrid technology level of Toyota and BYD, and the status quo of the two car companies. Okay, let's get started. In the past few years, when it comes to hybrid technology, everyone will first think of the Japanese hybrid model. There are only two hybrids in the world, one is Toyota hybrid, and the other is other hybrids. But what is surprising is that Chinese car companies, which have always been at a disadvantage in the field of fuel vehicles, have developed hybrid technology so fast in recent years, especially since BYD's hybrid model was launched, many people think that BYD has done better than Toyota. Is it true? Today, I will compare the two popular factions, Toyota Dual VVTi Engine and BYD DMII, from two aspects of technology and actual car experience. I believe that after watching it, everyone will understand which of the two hybrid technologies is better. In the field of fuel vehicles, in order to save fuel, the first thing to solve is the thermal efficiency of the engine. Many car companies claim that the thermal efficiency of their own engines exceeds 40%. However, the development of fuel engine technology has become slower and slower in recent years, almost reaching the technical ceiling. In this environment, many car companies are focusing on hybrid power. In order to save fuel, Toyota and BYD have completely different routes. Toyota is still based on fuel engines, the power of the motor is relatively small, the effect of the motor is weakened, the battery capacity is relatively small, and the mileage is relatively short. On the other hand, BYD DMI hybrid technology emphasizes on electricity, focusing on motors, batteries, and electronic control systems, weakening the role of traditional engines. The motor power and battery capacity are larger, and the battery electric mileage is longer. The frequency of engine intervention becomes smaller, and it is more likely to intervene in specific scenarios or play the role of range-extending power generation. The solutions are different, and naturally the driving experience is also different. Take the Toyota Dual VVTi engine as an example. The daily car does not need to charge the battery, and its electricity comes from the fuel engine. When the battery power is sufficient, the default is battery electric drive when starting, and the fuel engine will not intervene. When the battery power is lower than 50%, the engine starts to charge the battery. When driving on urban roads, there are many traffic lights, stop and go, idling or low-speed driving, the default motor drive. In scenarios where high torque is required, such as acceleration, overtaking, climbing, and full load, the engine intervenes to provide driving force together with the motor. This hybrid drive mode avoids low efficiency and high fuel consumption car scenarios and is very fuel efficient. But BYD's hybrid technology is mainly electric. As long as the battery power can support the drive, the system will give priority to the motor to provide drive by default, and the engine will not intervene. The difference is that the motor power of BYD models is higher, the battery capacity is larger, and it can rely on battery electric drive for a long time. There is no doubt about it. Although the advantage of saving fuel is obvious, after all, relying on charging the battery while the engine is running cannot support long-term battery electric driving. In the past few years, the electric battery life of plug-in hybrid models is generally only about 50 to 80 kilometers. Therefore, if you want to save fuel, you need to find a charging pile to charge the battery when the battery runs out, which is indeed a very troublesome thing. However, in recent years, the battery capacity of BYD hybrid models also has different battery life versions. The pure electric battery life can reach more than 200 kilometers, and its advantages far exceed those of Toyota hybrid models. So, which one is stronger in terms of technical strength? As early as 1993, 
Toyota established the G21 project and began to develop hybrid models. In 1997, Toyota released the Prius, which meant that Toyota officially entered the hybrid field. However, in the past few years, the price of hybrid models was relatively high. At the same time, due to market, policy and other factors, it was impossible to form mass production, and fuel vehicles were still the mainstay. After 2005, the market and policies tended to be hybrid models. So Toyota released the fourth-generation hybrid power system, which was earlier than other car companies to launch gasoline-electric hybrid models. Therefore, in the field of hybrid power, Toyota's THS hybrid technology is not only a breakthrough, but also a leader. However, Japanese cars have always focused on economy and practicality. In the hybrid field, they mainly pursue fuel economy, so they have not extended to the plug-in hybrid field. However, looking at the current field of hybrid vehicles, pure gasoline-electric hybrid technology is obviously replaced by plug-in hybrid technology. Therefore, Toyota's trump card technology is destined to be a thing of the past. The plug-in hybrid technology lies more in the battery, motor, and electronic control system. And these three major technologies are all independently developed by BYD, and at the same time have withstood the test of the market, undoubtedly surpassing Japanese car companies. First, let's look at battery technology. The Blade battery, independently developed by BYD, has carried out a number of technical upgrades on the basis of lithium iron phosphate batteries. To put it simply, the charging and discharging performance of the battery is more stable in low temperature and high temperature environments, the energy density of the battery is greatly improved, the driving range is longer, the life is longer, and the cost is lower. It is precisely because of BYD's excellent battery technology that Mercedes-Benz and BYD have cooperated to create Denza, and Toyota has cooperated with BYD to develop new energy vehicles. At present, Tesla has also reached a cooperation with BYD in terms of battery procurement. Now, let's talk about motor technology. BYD has the world's leading flat-wire motor technology and has achieved self-developed self-made, which have been used in mass-produced models. Next, electronic control technology. BYD will release IGBT 4.0 technology in 2021. To put it simply, this technology is the core technology of the electronic control system. Using this technology, the power consumption of the vehicle will be greatly reduced. The vehicle has stronger acceleration performance and greater power output capability, and can adapt to lower or higher temperature environment. In addition, BYD also has technologies such as ePlatform 3.0 and independent research and development of car-grade semiconductors. In other words, BYD owns most of the technology in the new energy vehicle industry chain. Now, let's look at Toyota's plug-in hybrid technology. In terms of batteries, it mainly cooperates with battery manufacturers such as Panasonic and CATL, using lithium-ion batteries, ternary lithium batteries, and lithium iron phosphate batteries, as for motors and electronic control systems, although they all have self-developed technologies, the functions that Toyota's ECVT system can realize can be realized by BYD E3.0 platform, while ECVT cannot realize all the functions of BYD. On the whole, Japanese cars seem to have paid less attention to plug-in hybrid new technology reserves in recent years, and are more seeking stability. A large part of the reasons come from Japan's national conditions, market positioning, and the general pursuit of economy and practicality. In short, from the current point of view, BYD is still the technical benchmark in the field of new energy vehicles, and it seems that it has no rivals in the short term. Okay, that's all for today. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.